we deal with the uh, military. Uh, we don't want everything to go the military. We don't want every day in the village having a glass around the eyes. It's not a good thing to do. It can be very dangerous. What we're going to do is take a generic pair of hardcore glass and show you that we have here. First test. High velocity test. We're going to take a 40 inch steel ball bearing, 8 inches of weight, at 150 feet per second, which is the equivalent to 102 mile per hour, all right? Pardon me, guys. Excuse me one second. Sorry. All right, so first test, here we go, morning, steel ball bearing, three, two, one. You can see that just shattered the track glass, so, um, well, after this glass, but that just shattered, as you can see, she imagine what happened to the rest of the stuff, but those little remainders, those little shells right there, the doctor's going to have to deal with uh, getting this stuff out of the eyes. Well, this is obviously an extreme example. You know, I don't want to be able to you guys walking out of here and uh, <laughs> go shoot your eye. To make it more realistic and give an example of something that can happen. This would be like a rocket strike. This car out of coming off the tire. Um, you're running the jog, you're sitting there like that. You're working out of the yard, a rock or a twig or something, picks up for the face. We obviously, them anticipate those things happening, but unfortunately, they do. You know, we also, you know, them anticipate getting in the car wreck, which is what you see for a lot of reasons. Same tap, we're playing both these. Three, two, one. See right above my thumb right there. Oh, yeah. See anything, right? Exactly. <laughs> wow. All right. So we test all of our all of our eyewear subject to the same test, okay? So that was high velocity, small object going to fast speed. The next test is going to be the opposite. Much heavier object, 500 gram metal spike going fast that around 760. So we're going to take a 500 gram metal spike. And it should be much like your body weight falling forward. The same exact thing. Yep. Right. Okay, so instead of using glass though, we're going to use a material yeah, called CR39. It is the most commonly used lens material in the world. It's not required to it, meaning anyone can buy it. So a lot of people buy it, they can buy it in bulk, and mass produce it, okay? Um, a lot of the industry still use it. Even though it's plastic, though, you'll definitely see that it, it will shatter just like glass. Here we go, three, two, one. As you can see, even though it's plastic, you still have to do those shards and stuff. Yeah, you have to deal with that stuff in your face. You think about nowadays, you know, all cars have airbags as well. That airbag is over 250 feet per second. Coming towards you, it's not going to be a safe situation. You'll fall down around the face. You've got to pay a little on. Let's see if you can get it on. For whatever reason, that person who was uh, had the beating gun outside of here found a whole bunch of these and got it around. Here we go, three, two, one. You guys can see. You see that? Okay. Most reportedly, the thing that I want to mention is that the lens didn't break, the frame, the frame didn't break, the lens didn't eject from the frame, and it didn't come back far enough to test the hormonal soft tissue or not. Okay. This one, one of the things that a few of the things that we do. I uh, hear to mention that you have the best and optics yeah. and safety as well. And just so everyone knows, any pair of opens you see on lens materials made the same. We got a full optometric line, so any prescription eyewear as well are all subject to the same test. No more goggles or next goggles. Right? Yeah. Well, thank you for your time. Peace. Thank you.